Hi, this is Valerie. Thank you for joining me for this video on running scheduled and unscheduled payroll in Intuit Full Service Payroll. Let's start with regularly scheduled payroll. From the home page, I'm going to pick the pay schedule that I'd like to pay employees for. You may not have different employees on different schedules, so you might just be working on one schedule, but I'm going to choose every other Friday, and I'll see my payroll submission deadline, my pay date, and a button here to enter payday info. I could also go to the payday tab along the top to jump right to this selection. The employees that are under this pay schedule will be checked off and I could unselect them if I didn't want to include a particular employee in this payroll run, but I'll keep them both selected for now. If I click on their name, I can change the pay method that's being used. So if I wanted to pay Mel by check instead of direct deposit this time, I could do so, or I can X out of that if I don't want to make that change. If I have a salaried employee, I can click on their salary if I need to make a one-time adjustment there. So perhaps they didn't work two hours of this period and I don't want to include that in their salary. I can make that change. For hourly employees, I'd enter in their regular hours and then any other pay types that are turned on for them. So this will vary depending on what has been set up in the employee's profile. So if you're missing a box here, chances are it isn't something that's turned on. So we'll fill in our hours and then any other pay types or, or details that need to be included, and then click Preview Payroll. On the Preview Payroll screen, I can click in to the details of the check to see the breakdown of current payday and year to date. I also have an option here to compare this payroll run to the last regular payroll check for this employee. Now ignore the dates a little bit. They might be strange in my test account. Down below, we'll see the total payroll cost. And when we're all set, we can submit payroll. The last step will be confirmation. We do have an opportunity to delete a check before it's processed if we need to. And then anything that needs to happen for this payday, if there's any checks that you need to write and deliver, or if you've turned on some paycheck printing settings, you'd be prompted to print those paychecks instead. You'll see the total payroll costs down below as well, and some related activities such as exporting to QuickBooks, printing all the pay stubs, or viewing reports. Let's go back to the payroll home and talk about unscheduled payroll. So maybe you missed a payroll, Maybe you need to create a termination check for an employee. There's a couple of different scenarios where you'd want to create an unscheduled check. From the home page, I can choose that option under other payments. This is also where we'll see creating bonus checks or paying contractors. I can choose my pay schedule. And depending on uh, the employee's setup, I might have some other options that show up, such as if I need to adjust a paycheck for salaried employees or choose any deductions that are going to be included on the check. This particular employee doesn't have anything like that. And so then I am just making the choices of the payroll period and the paycheck date. You can create unscheduled checks for the current pay period all the way back to pay periods dated six months ago. You can't create a check with a past date. The only check dates that are available are days after your last check date and before your next pay date. And we of course do this to keep payroll taxes error free. I would choose employees I'm creating an unscheduled check for, and I would enter in the compensation information here, their hours, any of those types of details that I need. And then we'll preview payroll. We'll have that opportunity to click on the check, compare it to last, see the total payroll cost. And again, we'll see the option to delete a check and the steps that we need to take. Very, very similar running regular or unscheduled payroll. I hope that this was helpful and thank you so much for watching.